Hi, this is Jason Spangler. I'm the owner of Best Hobby Pages, and I'd like to do a quick video just to kind of explain to you the page system that is mentioned on our website. It may not be obvious how the envelopes and the pages work together to store a collection. And so it just so happens that I got in a collection that was stored in Best Hobby Pages that I'm now going to resell. And I thought, hey, wait a minute, before I break this thing up and start selling it on eBay, let me show everybody how this works because this collection is a great example of that. So here's the collection in a notebook. This is part of the collection. It's bigger than this. But you can see that right off the bat, Best Hobby Pages is designed to be stored in a three ring binder. Now that's probably how really the majority of collectors, uh, at least in my world, scouting memorabilia, store their stuff. And so that works really, really well. Obviously a big binder in this case, but any kind of binder, even if you had uh, what I have over there in my uh, warehouse, I have a, um, a catalog rack. And if you had a catalog rack which uses three ring binders, uh, that would work fine as well. So here's what the collector has done. They've got their envelopes inside the pages. This is our three pocket page that we sell, envelope inside the page. And I'll pull that out just in a second to show you. And you can see what this collector has done is he stored them back to back. So there's actually two envelopes back to back here. And I'll show you that just in a second. That's probably how most people use Best Hobby Pages. But what I have come to discover in the little over a year that I've owned the company is that people kind of use this all different ways. But I just want to show you how this collector chose to store their collection using Best Hobby Pages. So you can kind of see how they have it here. Just more of these these are what we call order the arrow lodge flaps, real common thing for BSA collectors to do, and he's got them here. One neat thing about the envelopes is, is that you can write here, there's a field for you to write all the pertinent information as you catalog and keep track of your collection inventory. It. So this collector would write in the issue number and also some notes in the note field. That's a great way to organize your collection. I've seen some people that have actually typed things up in spreadsheets and then done a mail merge and then use that to create labels and then they put labels there at that spot. Uh, just moving through this binder now you can see that this is what we call our two pocket envelopes so obviously here you've got two per page and he's using things that probably are a little odd shaped and wouldn't fit in these three page envelopes so he's got some here and again done some of the back to back stuff so those are really good Another thing he's done, which is a little interesting, and again, this is why I say everyone kind of uses Best Hobby Pages, you know, however they want to do it. They organize their collection. So he's got multiple patches here in the same envelope, but they go to gear, they're, they're sequential by year, and so he chose to put them in the same envelope, which makes perfect sense to me rather than having three different envelopes. So let me switch here because it's getting a little heavy. Keep flipping through. This is a great collection, by the way. I'm, I'm going to be eBaying this for the family. Um, really looking forward to getting into this. All right, here is an example of our one page envelope. So this is an envelope inside of a page. And another thing I wanted to show you here is a lot of people are asking questions about neckerchiefs. Could I store my neckerchiefs uh, in these? And the answer is yes. We've got some what we call two part sets here and here again. And then in the back, I wanted to make sure that I had an example of a neckerchief being stored. Again, that's a neckerchief. It's inside an envelope and then slid inside the page. So let me just pop that out to kind of give an example of what we mean when we say this is a system where the envelopes and the pages go together. So again, the reason why the best hobby pages, there's several reasons I'll go through, but one reason why it works really well for storing your collection is when you slide the envelope into the page, it sits very nice and tight. It's tucked in there. So it doesn't slide out. You can see as I flip through this binder, even though I was holding it vertical, we didn't have patches kind of flying out everywhere. They stay in there really nicely. And so in this case, what you have is an envelope that was slid inside of the page. And this is the one page envelope. This one just happens to open from the top and get into it here. And then I can pull that neckerchief out if I wanted to, okay? Now, I've had people tell me that they've had um, some things happen at their house. Like one guy had some water damage in his house. And the way, I won't say that this is like waterproof, but he said the way that his collection was protected in Best Hobby Pages, nothing got wet, nothing got ruined. Um, also heard people say that for smoke, uh, for smells as well, that the way that it's tucked inside here is keep the, uh, the items really well protected using this archival polypropylene plastic. So that's a real winner. Uh, on the back, another neckerchief. So if you have neckerchiefs in your collection, then Best Hobby Pages or one pocket envelope would be a great way to store that. Let me flip over here and just show you some Again, this is the three pocket 
envelopes, really, really popular, probably one of our most popular things that we sell. And what he has done here is he, again, envelope slides into the page, and then on the uh, patch he's got all the pertinent information, and the patch sits there. So um, the nice thing about Best Hobby Pages is, is everything matches. We have about eight different envelope systems that all fit together, and they all go into three-ring binders. So really, no matter what size you have in terms of your patch or Maybe it could be something different. Maybe it's a, a currency collection or something else that lays flat. It definitely can be stored in Best Hobby Pages. Now this particular collector just so happened, he didn't have examples of all of the different sheets that we sell. So before I end this video, I just wanted to show you some that he didn't have in his collection. This one is very popular. This is our four pocket pages. And when you go to the website besthobbypages.com, one thing you'll see there, there's an option for whether you want it to be a long or a short card. So some people have um, patches or other flat items and they want them to sit vertically like this. And so this is sort of our tall card. And so the envelopes are the same. It's the cardstock cards that are the difference. And then of course, if I go down to here, then this is the long, more of like a horizontal shape. Um, same sort of system there. So when you go on the website under four pocket envelopes, you have a choice of choosing the long or the short. Again, as I've shown you here, the plastic is the same. It's the cardstock that's uh, different for those. So that's the four pocket. Go through a lot of those every month selling those. Uh, this is the six pocket traditional page with matching envelopes. And so again, you've got six cards here. They slide in real easily. This is all side loading. And that is your six pocket traditional. Now on the website, we sell two different types of two um, two page envelopes. The one that you saw is the more traditional one. We call this one the jumbo. And so if you have like say for example a patch or an item that's maybe six inches large, it wouldn't fit in that one, but it would fit here. And then you also have the same matching what we call the three pocket envelope that goes here. So this is kind of a combination deal. Sometimes you have uh, pieces that would fit in this very well. So on the website this is called the jumbo page. This is the jumbo envelope. And then this one on top is just the regular three pocket envelope that goes in there. So keep to protect of that. All right, last two things. On the website, there is there are two pages that don't actually have envelopes. Kind of, I know, runs against sort of the system that we have. But for scout patch collectors especially, there are two different types of um, pages we sell that are very popular. And that is the six pocket scout pages. So these are very horizontal, long, skinny pages. And if you can kind of look here, I know there's no patches in here, so it's going to be look sort of transparent. I guess you can see how clear the plastic is that way. Um, but these are sort of side loading from the center right here, and they would lay in your, your collection. Another variation of that, actually um, for a long time, has been my most favorite page that Best Hobby Pages makes, and that is this one. We call this the Scout Pocket White, Six Pocket White. And so this has a sheet of white polypropylene on the back, so that when you slide the patches in there, they really stand out. I like this one a lot. So, Anyways, a couple of other things just to tell you about this. All of this uh, Best Hobby Page stuff is made in the USA. Uh, none of this is like imported from China or anything like that, so don't worry about that. It's all archival safe. Best Hobby Pages has been around for 10 years. Uh, the company started in 2009. A guy named Joe from Virginia started it. Uh, he and I were, were friends and knew each other, sort of business partners. And then uh, Joe ended up selling the company to me, and I've had it for a while now. So my name, again, is Jason Spangler on uh, Facebook. On eBay, I go by Santee Swapper. That's kind of my uh, eBay handle. And I'm the owner of Best Hobby Pages. So if you're looking to store and organize your collection in a very archival, safe way, I hope that you will select uh, Best Hobby Pages. I would invite you to go to our website. There's actually a sample set that you can order. The sample set includes one of each envelope and page, and it'll be mailed to you so that you can see exactly what we offer. It'll have every combination we have ready for you to check it out. And it's uh, less than 10 bucks, including shipping. So it's a great deal if you just want to kind of see what we've got. So a lot of collectors use Best Hobby Pages. We've sold over 100,000 units since 2009. It's been very, very popular. I would say this is really sort of the premium way to store, organize, and display your collection. There are less expensive alternatives out there, but none of them have this page system where we have the matching envelopes that go inside of the pages and hold everything very, very securely. Uh, that's very unique to Best Hobby Pages and makes us kind of stand out. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time and watching this video.